Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FC24. Now, we had a little bit of an interesting end to the last episode. Well, actually, it was the whole episode. What we're starting to realise, and I'm seeing a lot of you guys agreeing with me as well, is that the gameplay in this game is very, very tricky. Basically, it's defensive AI issues. You score too many goals because their defenders are completely stupid and stand still, and your own defenders that you're not controlling just don't help. <laughs> they kind of, they're just mannequins. Um, so, in today's episode, we're coming up against Tottenham. Great timing. And um, I'm using sliders. Now, I'm not going to show you the sliders yet, because if they're not quite right, I'm going to have to change them again. So, as soon as I'm happy, which I think I am. I I've played, I'd say, about an hour in a different career mode. Um, and I spent many hours testing, you know, and, and just playing around. But I've played with the current sliders I've got for about an hour, and I think I'm comfortable with it. So let's just see what happens in this episode. And if they're good, I will show you. Um, also, quick updates on my transfer hub, my targets, because I'm getting a lot of people asking what I'm going to do in January with the three South American signings that I've got to make. So I had a really good think about it. These are the five players that I want, okay, throughout the series. I think these are all very, very good players that would come into the team and do really well. Hincapié, we've already talked about. I kind of want to get him in January. He would almost be a new Kivior. Um, then I thought, I am missing a number eight. I want to play Rice as a DM. I want Erdegaard to the right of him. And then I want someone as the left central midfielder. And I was looking around for Brazilians, Argentinians, any South American players that could come in and do a job straight away. And I thought, oh my God, Paqueta. He's got everything you want in a midfielder. I thought, is he good enough defensively? Well, looking at his stats here, 67 to 71 defending. Very, very good. Left-footed as well. You know, I'm replacing Granite Xhaka, basically. Honestly, I'm thinking we get Paqueta. We steal him from Man City. Remember they wanted him? And obviously they didn't go for him in the end. They got Nunes. I reckon we could get Paqueta. He would be very expensive, though. We've got Henrique. Perfect player to give us back up to Saka. And genuinely, I think those are the three targets for January. I, 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 can't, I can't think of any, anything better at this point. They're all really good players. And then in the future, we have Lazaro. Big fan of him. He looks like he's going to be a really good player for us. Can play anywhere across the front line. We could get him instead of Henrique, but I want a left-footed player. So it's a like-for-like -like swap with Saka, you know? And then, of course, in the future, Ferguson. So... We'll look into other targets at some point. I think Zubamendi is another one that I'm interested in. But for now, five players that I'm really realistically going to go for. But we're going to get into the Spurs game now. Let's do the pre-match report. This is after the North London derby yesterday, which we drew to all. And um, wow, Benton Kerr's beard is massive in this game. <laughs> Key defensive player, Poro, really? I don't know about that. Key attacking players, Madison and Son. Two assists for Madison, two goals for Son yesterday. Makes sense, really. Um, four at the back, it's a good team. It is, but we should be favourites going into this game. And hopefully, I'm not going to have any issues with the gameplay. Or I'm going to have less issues. I think if we're being realistic, the gameplay in this game just isn't very good yet. They do need to make some changes. Hopefully, they will soon. I've seen basically a list of things they're looking at. So... Um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully soon. Let's do this press conference here. Why is the team being struggling? Uh, where is AI defensive ability is trash? Um, I have to take some of the blame because <laughs> I've been playing awful. I still cannot believe I had a Champions League game end 7-6. That's never happened before. Never happened before. Absolutely crazy. I'm not going to do the training. As you guys know, I'm, I'm not really a fan of that. I don't want temporary play styles. I just want to use the team that I've got. Um, and to be fair, everyone is growing relatively well already. Saka's up to 87. Rice is up to 86. Zinchenko's up to 81. I don't really need to change or do training, you know. Um, do I start Vieira in this one? I'm going to go with Havertz. Havertz is going to come in for this one. A little bit more of a physical presence. The North London derby. Yes, here we go. One of the best games of the season. I'm absolutely gutted we didn't win yesterday, but do you know what? We didn't lose it either. Oh, we're in. Martinelli. Oh, 
Wait, come on, Erdegaard. Yes! <laughs> I've managed to sneak it in. I cannot believe that just happened. Erdegaard, what are you doing there? He's just snuck in and with his right foot, he's tucked it home just inside the post. And we've got an early lead in this game. Martinelli, loads of space. Good save from Vicario. And I'm surprised that Erdegaard actually finished that. Got some space here with Saka. Erdegaard. Now over the top for Ben White. Back into Saka maybe. Took a while. Here we go. Oh, no, I can't do that. Across. Zinchenko. Into Martinelli. Power shot. <laughs> Straight at the keeper. Although I've got to say, we're finding space in behind this Tottenham side, specifically with Martinelli. I think he's going to be a very dangerous player for the right side of Tottenham today. Do I try the cross? Yeah, Havertz is in there. Go on, Havertz. Oh, Erdegaard now. Oh, wait, we can recover this. Gabriel to win the header. Oh, no one's there. And now it's going to be a counter-attack. Kulisevsky down the right. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happening. Oh! Okay, we got away with it. And now we've got Zinchenko into Martinelli. Into Jesus. No, it's gone to Saka, but it's fine. Still got a chance. Pen! No, Erdegaard's injured. No, no. No, not Erdegaard. Anyone but Erdegaard. Oh, no. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. It's bad. It's really, 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 really bad. My best, highest rated player is injured. Although, I, I did just say anyone else. I'd rather not lose Saka as well. Um, well, luckily we have a perfect replacement in Vieira. He's going to have to come in. But that's really not good, guys. Imagine if he's out for nine months or something stupid like that. If he is, we are going to be cursing Van der Ven. Voodoo doll. That's what we need to whip out. <laughs> well, we're approaching half time now. At least we're winning the game, but honestly, I'm just, I'm devastated right now. Hopefully, it's not a super serious injury. Because losing Erdegaard, I mean, not good. Not good at all. We can deal with that. Just get it out. Oh, hang on. Win the header. Nice. Ah, oh, and the ref blows his whistle. Well, we're in the second half, and you can probably see it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Um, the lighting hasn't loaded properly. I... I <laughs> Have we not paid the electricity bill at the Emirates? What's going on? It just loaded into the second half. And you know it kind of fades from that black. Oh, I'm going to have a shot here. Outside of the boot. Oh! Saka! Oh, so close. Maybe the keeper can't see the ball. <laughs> but yeah, it's just not loaded the lighting properly. I, I don't know what to say, guys. It's... Full of problems, this game. It really is. Look at Saliba. What's he doing? What is Saliba doing here? Now look at Gabriel. Oh my god. It's it's so difficult to defend when your AI defenders just don't <laughs> don't defend properly. It's really difficult. But the sliders are working, guys. It isn't 4-3 right now. It's just 1-0. And it's definitely harder to score and it's harder to concede. At least a little bit. Put that over the top. Nice. Vieira. Oh my god, Vicario again. He is keeping Tottenham in this game. Oh, that's a good cross. That's one, one all. Yeah. Wait. Is it offside again? Tottenham have had about, I, I want to say at least three offsides today, which are so close. Look at this. Uh, well, okay. He's, he's more offside than I thought there. I'm just waiting for the ball to go out of play naturally so I can make some changes. But we're both, both teams holding possession so nicely. Havertz over on this right side. Ben White. Oh, the pass to Vieira wasn't quite right. Where is my defence? Where is my defence? This is stupid. A cross comes in and you're telling me both my centre-backs aren't marking anyone. Please, just explain how this works. Unbelievable. I'm not even going to make it to season two at this rate. I'm going to get sacked because I can't win a game. Look at... Gabriel and Saliba here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... I'm completely blown away by that. How is that remotely possible? Okay. Havertz off. Smith Rowe on. And I'm going to put him forward. 
Um, Vieira off. <laughs> he was already a bit tired. Do you know what? I'm putting Trossard in. We're just going to have to go for it in the last few moments here. Swap those guys around. And Timber right back. Okay. Let's see what happens. I've got, what, probably seven, eight minutes. I'm just going to get on the attack straight away here. And hopefully we can win it because I need to win it, guys. I really need to win this game. What is that pass? What is that? Oh, if they win this now. If they win here. Get a tackle in. Oh, no. No. Please. Good save, Ramsdale. Good clearance as well. Here we go. Here we go. Jesus over the top. Yes. Come on. This is it. If I win here, I'll be so happy. Jesus. Come on. Come on. I needed that. The goal I conceded was absolute poop. L a load of rubbish. And this is so nice to see. It's not going to end with Tottenham celebrating wildly. It's us. Thank you so much, Jesus. We needed to win this really bad, guys. Really bad. I love this, though. Seeing in the changing rooms and stuff. It's, it's just awesome, isn't it? Let's do this post-match interview as well, because I'm sure the team morale will continuously be low if I'm uh, not in the top four-ish. And we're not. We're not in the top four. So, um, oh, God. We haven't... Yeah, we haven't seen Erdegaard's injury, have we? Oh, God. Stop switching off defensively. How about you help me, game? A little bit. Uh, scoring goals. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, that'll do. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. How bad is it? Ah! Ah, Paqueta is a must. I have to sign Paqueta. I have to. I'm going to lack creativity. If I don't have Erdegaard... Oh, seven months. Seven months. You have to be kidding me. I'm... I'm devastated. He's basically out for the rest of the season. Oh, guys. It could not have been worse. We have no Martin Erdegaard for pretty much the entirety of the rest of this season. I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. Um, that might even need to be like a, a loan deal as well, like bring in two players because I need Paqueta anyway. Well, that's oh, not good. Going into the EFL Cup now, we've got Bournemouth. We're at home, and I'm going to be using the second team here. So, Raya in goal, Timber on the right, Tommy Asu on the left, Kivior and Saliba. See, imagine if I had Hincapié in there as well. Um, I was just thinking, by the way, because Havertz is in and out of the team, maybe he's going to have to be where Erdegaard plays. I think he's probably the best player with Vieira on the left then, or Paqueta if we get him. Uh, Partey's in there, Nelson on the right, Trossard on the left. What I'm going to do is simulate the match and um, let's see if we can beat Bournemouth. We should be beating Bournemouth. And it is the EFL Cup, so I'm not going to be 100% going for it. I would like to win it, of course, but I'm not going to be upset if we don't. <laughs> Put it that way. I think we'll win this comfortably, though. Or not. Or we'll be down after nine minutes. What happens if I jump to tactical view? See, that, that is pretty cool. I can just jump to side of the pitch. I just wish I could press a button here to change the view. Oh, X. X changes the view. It's a bit laggy, but when I press X... Ah, that's pretty cool. I'm starting to get a little bit unsure here, guys. Oh, my God, it's 2-0. Two, it's two oh, my God. What is going on? We've had two shots. Oh my god, I'm I'm gonna have to jump in and I'm worried I won't be able to do anything. Oh please score, please. Oh he's hit it right at the keeper. What is going on here? I'm gonna have to jump in, guys. I can't go out. I can't go out of the EFL Cup now. It's way too early, and I just thought my team would handle this. Let's see if I can help straight away. Nelson. And Ketty's in already. Oh, my God. I've literally scored within, what, a couple of seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, right, then. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Again, cross comes in unmarked. It's, it's like it's magic. What is that? I could literally see what was happening. 
a few seconds ahead of time. Look at Saliba. What do you do to defend against that? I can't stop the cross coming in because they just knock it past you and run. Just sprint through you, basically. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I genuinely don't know what to say. Two goals behind again. Gorn and Ketia over the top. Nice. Win the header. Nice. Vieira. Oh, God. How am I not scoring that? Oh, Smith throws in. Please finish that. Okay, cool. We need one more. One more to equalise. One more to equalise. Come on. Oh, my God. That didn't just happen. He's got his foot on the ball. Like, he... I don't know what to say, guys. I genuinely don't know what to say. It's really frustrating because the other parts of this game are really good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The other parts of this game, like, the passing is really nice. The dribbling feels amazing in this game. The game looks great and it feels great, okay? But the defending. If they fix the AI defending, you've got a pretty good game here. Just try and ignore the fact that I'm going to concede and score probably way too many goals, guys. But it's, it just is what it is. That, I mean, I'm trying sliders and it's not doing enough, you know? It's definitely helped, but it's still not enough. It's still crazy how many goals you concede and how many goals you can score as well, just so easily. But yeah, this, this game's done. I don't even want to finish it. <laughs> We're going to sim to the end here. And it finishes 4-2. We are dumped out of the EFL Cup at home to Bournemouth. But you guys would have seen it in the last episode. It was two games in a row against Bournemouth. So now it's time for the second one. They're bottom of the Premier League, by the way. So um, yeah, we should be okay this time, right? We're going away from home, though. And um, oh, I'm going to have to change my midfield because obviously Erdegaard is still injured. So let's go ahead and put... <laughs> let's have Jorginho just in the team but I'm going to have Smithrow play and I'm going to put Trossard in and just do this just just be really attacking and just outscore them it seems Saliba is pretty exhausted so what I'm going to do is put White there and then have Timber come in as the right back what a ball lovely from Rice Trossard now We've got Jesus on the edge of the box. Picked him out. Can you finish? No, it's blocked. Need to win the header. Nice. Well done, Saka. Now Timber can bring it in. Turn and pass. Nice. Saka onside. But Neto saves it. Martinelli bringing the ball forward here. They can't stop him. He's just so quick. Look at this. Go on. Go on. No. <laughs> They've actually blocked it. Wow, how have I not scored there? And now Martinelli up to Jesus. Oh, he's got it. Chip the keeper. Yes, go on. Oh, I thought they were about to clear it out. Finally, we've got the opening goal. It's taken half an hour, but this match is going much, much better. And guess what? I've played with the sliders again. I think I might have found just, just something a little bit spicy to make things a little bit more fun. But that doesn't mean I'm going to win, okay? I still... I'm going to have problems defending because you just can't fix AI. You can't, really. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a finish. you got to give it to... Is it Sinistera? He's, he's rapid. I knew as soon as he made that run, he was in. Right before the break as well. Oh, annoying because I have actually been really good in this game. I've been able to kind of contain them a little bit. But look at this. I'm making mistakes. I'm, I'm starting to let that kind of bad play creep in. Hopefully the second half I'll be able to kind of cool it off a little bit. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh God. Play on, play on, play on. Okay. Well, that's half time. I will win this. I, I'm feeling confident. Look at the space here. Over on the left side. That's not where I wanted it, but it's fine. Martinelli. With an absolutely pathetic shot. What was that? I've got no idea, but we might have another chance here. Oh, what a turn from Jesus. Finish. Come off it. What more do I need to do? 
<laughs> Short corners are best. They just are, especially when you've got someone as unbelievably talented as Smithrow on the edge of the box. He's just finessed it into the top corner. It's beautiful. One touch, open up, 0.15 expected goals. Honestly, how Neto hasn't got that, I don't know. Makes no sense. He's made some unreal saves in this game, but we've made it 2-1, guys. Those three points are coming home, baby. Oh, what a pass. Was that Jorginho? I don't want to shoot, though. Here we go. Zinchenko. Oh, rebound. Oh. We've got just under five minutes to go. Three points. Come on. I'm just holding on. Every time Bournemouth come forward, though, I get nervous. I'm going to make a mistake. Or they're just going to run through me. Oh, no. Is it going to happen? No. No, no, no. Not like this. It's, it's just so difficult to stop. I don't know what to say, guys, other than I'm trying my best. I genuinely am. I've got to score. I've got to go now. Look at Gabriel. What is he doing? What is Zinchenko doing? Sorry, I'm just going to take a moment to actually watch what happened here because I just... What is Zinchenko doing? I'm not in control of that. There's nothing I can do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, and I just remembered we lost Odegaard as well today. Just, <laughs> it's just incredible, isn't it? Misery compiler. Oh, and this is another thing as well, by the way. Um, these emails keep coming up, even if you're not changing plans. Like everyone's on the same plan, like. <laughs> Oh, it's so disappointing because I, I, I am still enjoying the game. Genuinely, I am. It's just the actual gameplay can be really quite something. Still can't sell any players, by the way. The amount of offers I've been accept accepting and none of them go through. Um, we're going to end it here because clearly I need to do more work with the sliders and stuff. I thought maybe in this episode I'd, I'd get, get it a bit better, but clearly it's just... Ah, <sighs> so annoying. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I'm really sorry that the game isn't up to par this year. I know I'm not a very good defender in FIFA and, and FC. I know. I get it. But come on. You saw that. It, it's almost impossible to defend. And you can go and watch any career mode creator and you'll, you'll hear them say the same thing. So uh, hopefully they'll, they'll make some changes soon. Otherwise, it's going to be tactical sim only. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode tomorrow at 7pm.